Hello there, this is Peter Beckett and the Village Marketer. And today's thoughtful moment is all about focus. That five letter word that can absolutely drive us crazy or destroy you or make you. So I want to talk about how to stay focused in an increasingly distracting world. I mean, absentmindedly, you reach for your phone, right? You open your favorite app. Nothing's changed since you did this 10 minutes ago, but you kind of forgot that, okay? So you open a different app, but you're just there as well. I mean, does this sound familiar to you? Does your phone distract you? Does your phone control you? Does your phone have something, a hold over you that stops you from doing what you really should be doing? You may not like what I'm saying to you, but I tell you, it's true. Your phone can control your life. You have lost the power of your life if you're letting the phone control you. I mean, sometimes we convince ourselves we're being super productive by staying up to date with the latest news and the happenings on social media and responding to emails immediately. Okay? But the reality is this. You're distracting yourself from bigger things, right? Don't let social media or email control you. You are then at other people's mercy. Do not do that. Don't let social media control you. Don't let emails determine what's important to you. You decide what's important to you and make the emails fit in. I'll talk more about that in a minute. You see, when you're at work, your focus should be on work, right? And when you're at home, your focus should be on your home life. So it's time for you to take back control. And that's what I want to share with you in this quick video. And a great place to start, no more darn notifications. Open your phone settings right now. Go in and turn off the darn notifications. I mean, you don't need an update about who sent a tweet yesterday or who liked or disliked your post or who commented or whatever it may be. You don't need a constant stream of distressing news updates breaking your focus. Check your social media at set times. Do the same thing for your email and ignore it for the rest of the time. Develop a healthy routine. You can improve your focus by establishing a healthy daily routine. When you set your routine and you get used to it, you don't have to waste time thinking about what comes next. It's why people like Steve Jobs when he's alive, but he did, and Mark Zuckerberg does now. I mean, he just simply wears the same outfit day in and day out, right? He's a multimillionaire, but both of these guys just wear jeans and T-shirts, right? That's their healthy routine. They don't care about what people think. They've established what's important to them, and their focus is not on what they wear, but everything else. Prioritize. What does your day look like? What's on your to-do list? I mean, the best way to avoid distractions is to rank your tasks in order of priority. It can be overwhelming when you think about all the things that you need to do. By putting them in order, you remove the stress and the overwhelm. And not only that, when you prioritize your tasks, then put the top three, four or five maximum into your calendar, right? Put them in your calendar. That way you'll get them done. What's the point of having a to-do list when all you're doing is put adding task after task after task, and it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger, okay? And nothing ever happens. It's a negative impact on you, and it really is not going to help you in any way, shape, or form. And all it does is simply become another huge distraction. So prioritize your tasks, put them in your calendar, and get off your butt and go and do them. Say no to multitasking. Let me ask you. Are you a multitasker? If yes, are you good at it? If yes, you're wrong. Sorry to say that, but your attempt at multitasking is slowing you down, reducing your productivity, and you're not doing each task as well as it could be. By multitasking, you are contributing to your own distractions. Now, you may not agree with what I've just said, but this is my video and my opinion. Be careful. Don't fool yourself by thinking you're a multitasker because it doesn't work that way. We are not wired that way to do it. The last point I want to give you about focus is renew. When your schedule is going haywire, when the world is 
throwing distractions in your face from all over the place. It's difficult to take a moment for yourself. However, renewal is vital. As your energy dips, your memory is fading, and you can feel the stress creeping in. When that happens, it's important that you withdraw from that and take the time to re-energize, to regenerate. So let's be honest, right? As I said earlier, when you're at work, your focus should be on what you have to do, right? And when you're at home, your focus should be on your home life, your family, your children, the lifestyle you've got, okay? So start getting focused today. It's time for you to take back control. And on the topic of taking back control, here's a chance for you to revive your sales potential, get control over your sales potential. Use the link you see on the screen there for a complimentary laser focus coaching call. So together we can sort out your number one sales challenge.